Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about biological neural network. Previously, we have discussed that in traditional computing, or you can say in hard computing, we solve problems in sequential manner, that is line by line. But in neural network, our problem solving is parallel distributed, that is we can do two or three tasks simultaneously. So we have moved towards the artificial neural network. So artificial neural network was inspired from human brain or from biological neural network. So now we will discuss how this biological neural networks works. A neural network is made up of number of processing elements called neurons whose interconnections are called synapses. In our body, we have 10 raised to power 10 neurons and each neuron is connected to 10 raised to power 4 other neurons. So, and these neurons are connected with each other with synapses. These synapses are type of chemical substance. Each neuron accepts input from either the external world or from output of other neurons. How this neuron accepts input from external world and also from the other neurons output. Suppose you are writing from one hand for continuously two hours and now your one hand is paining and with the other hand you are drinking a hot cup of coffee. The neurons at the tip of finger in with which you are writing will pass the information that now the now there is a pain in the hand and with other hand with which you are holding the hot cuff that will pass the information that coffee is still hot so these are two different information and these two different informations are from external worlds one is external world that is we have hot coffee in one hand and other that is we are writing from two hours these two are parallel distributed now each neuron the neuron at the fingertip will pass the information it will calculate from the input and pass the information in form of output this output will be presented to other neuron as a form of input that is our neuron takes input from two different entities first from the external world and second from output of other neurons so our neurons take input from two different entities that is first external world that is like i have touched a hot cup of coffee and second from the output of internal neurons like neurons at my shoulder will pass this new information to my brain so output from one neuron will be passed to as a input to the other neuron through synapses that is interconnection between the neurons. These synapses have a processing value or weight. So when information is being passed or when uh, that is the connection is between the different different neurons. These, neur these, neur uh, these synapses will have some weight or some processing value. Like it have processed the value that how much pain is in the tip of my finger. That it will pass to the dendrites and through dendrites it will be presented to the soma and then through soma it can be passed with exome. So synapses have a processing value or weight. Now coming to the structure of neuron. Neuron is composed of nucleus, a cell body known as soma. So our neuron have a nucleus present in it and this nucleus have a cell body which we call as a soma this cell body is called as a soma attached to soma are long irregular shaped filament called dendrites this is our soma and with the soma there are attached irregular shaped dendrites these filaments are called as dendrites dendrites behave as io channel all input from other neurons arrive through dendrites. dendrites. 
like we have talked that information is process that is from external world input was given to the neuron and this neuron will pass the information like uh, there uh, there is a pain in the tip of a finger now it will pass the information to other neuron in form of a input then right we have as a io channel all input from other neurons arrives through dendrites like whatever the whatever there will be the information present in different different neurons this information will be passed through this dendrites other link attached to soma are exon we have talked that this is the soma that is the nucleus or that is the cell body of the neuron it has been attached to two parts first is the dendrites which through which different inputs are arrive and the second part is exome what this exome do if the cumulative ip received by the soma rises the internal electric potential of the cell then neuron fires by propagating the action potential drawn to exon to other neuron this means that suppose so many inputs has been arrived to this dendrites and now this information is arrived at the soma now if i have uh, i have suppose 10 raised to power 5 neurons present or that are connected to one neuron and different different neurons will process the different different information now i will summarize or you can say accumulate the all the inputs from the different different neurons now this will increase the internal electric potential since the information that comes from one neuron to other is in form of electric potential suppose there are lots of in, lots of input have arise now this will increase the internal electric potential of the cell now electric potential of the cell has become high means suppose it was in a 0 volt i am just taking an example suppose our cell was in 0 volt and now different different information has arise and now this value rises to 1 then if the internal electric potential of the cell increases when the internal of the cell electric potential increases then neurons fires by propagating the action potential down to exon to other neurons so our neuron or our neuron cell body that is soma will pass the information through exon to decrease the potential we will fire the Uh, we will fire the propagating information through exome so that we can reduce the potential of the neuron and through this neuron the data will be passed to the other neurons like here will be other neurons present and this information is passed and now this information now again dendrites will be present now now with the help of this exome information is leak and now synapses will be present at different different dendrite connections and now again the information will be present to the cell of another neuron and so on and this is the working of neuron that is how our neuron works it has different part that is dendrites dendrites have the connection that is called as synapses and now it is the cell body known as soma and this is exon which helps to decrease the potential of the cell so this was all biological neural network in upcoming videos we will talk about how artificial neural network works what are the different models of artificial neural network thank you